Hey y'all, today's gonna be a what sold video, $50 or more sold on eBay, so stay tuned. All right guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also is the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. So that basically means I buy something low and then sell for market value on places like eBay and Facebook Marketplace. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you want to go back and watch some of my other videos, this is a reselling channel. If you do like the content, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, like the video, so let's go ahead and get started. I think this is going to be 15 what sold on eBay, $50 or more, and they're not all golf clubs, so that's pretty good. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first one's gonna be a good one. I always talk about Sony Handycams, but just know there are other cameras out there that fetch a lot of money that are like those little camcorders. This one right here is a Canon ZR100, ZR100 Mini DV stereo camcorder. It went for $135 and the buyer did pay shipping on this. And then it's always good with these uh, cameras even, and with the Sony Handycams if you have the cables with it that hooks up to the TV. If you have the manual that also helps. I, I think a case helps. And then also if you have any blank tapes, I think that also helps. I usually bundle all that together and they always go over about $100. This one was super good, $135. And as I remember, this sold within a week. So definitely a fast moving item, but I think it helps when you bundle things if you have that ability. This one right here is going to be a Porter Cable Heavy Duty Router Model 890, adjustable speeds. And this went for $115 and the buyer did pay shipping. And shipping was pretty expensive on this because this is a heavy tool. So what you want to do with this, Porter Cable is a decent brand to look out for. But also you got to look at the model numbers for these routers and really any power tool. And usually the model number is going to be on the tool itself. So to comp that out, type in Porter Cable and then the model of that. This one's pretty good if you ever see it at a yard sale. You're probably going to see these at yard sales and estate sales in the garage. Definitely a good bolo here to look out for. And as I remember, this sold within minutes of me posting it. So definitely a good sale. This one is a Disney Mickey Mouse VHS DVD combo unit. It says read because you can actually tell in the picture, the part where you put the, the tape in didn't really come down all the way, kind of like stuck a little bit. And it still went for $95 plus shipping. This thing was a bear. It doesn't look that big or much bigger than a regular combo unit. That's not true. This thing was a monster combo unit. It did work properly. There's also a TV that goes for this. If you have like the combo unit and the TV, it would be insane to ship, but you could definitely ship it. It goes for a ton of money, so that's a little bolo right there. But uh, combo units usually do sell for me. I've never really sold one, I think, for 95 bucks before. I just don't find the really good ones. So definitely a good sale there. 95 bucks. It did take a while to sell. I remember I bought that in, at an auction. This Bose Solo Bluetooth tv speaker system it was used but as you can tell there it has all this stuff with it it's got the you know remote cables it's got the box the original box so it's got the original manual this sold for 95 dollars plus shipping this sold very fast bose does sell very quick for me if i get anything in that's that's that brand it sells within a week or two and usually sells for a good amount of money over 50 bucks so this one right here, definitely a good uh, sale. I was going to keep it, but I thought, why do I need another Bluetooth speaker? Might as well make some money on it. I think I picked that up at a yard sale. And again, they sell very quick. This is pretty neat. I've actually been looking out for these because they, these sell-through rates are very decent on these med massagers, therapeutic. There are different ones. This one's a foot massager. I actually saw this in a picture. Not this one. I bought this one at a Goodwill. But I saw another one of these at an estate sale in a picture, like an online auction. I tried to get it, but... And somebody must have knew what it was because the bidding went a little bit too high on it. This one sold for $100 with free shipping. It is big, but it's kind of light. So in a state on the East Coast, I think shipping was only like 15 bucks for me. So it definitely falls in over the $50 mark. But definitely be looking out for those because that sold also very quickly. This one by far is my favorite tennis racket to sell. This is Babolat. And I'm telling you right now, every time I see one of these, I get excited because they usually all sell no matter like if it needs a grip or whatnot, they usually sell for over 50 bucks. This one was called a Pure Drive Team Woofer Tennis Racket, four and three eighths grip, and it did need, like the grip was falling apart. That's why you see right there has like saran wrap around it. I did that so the stuff wouldn't fall off. And uh, definitely a good brand to look out for. Definitely a big bolo. I used to find a lot of these in the thrift store. I do not find them anymore. Like maybe six months, eight months ago, they were a ton in the thrift store. I used to go in and buy two at a time and make 150 bucks real quick. I have never found those in thrift store in six months, but I still find those at uh, yard sales and estate sales pretty regularly because people are getting rid of them for cheap because they're older tennis rackets, but they still fetch a really good amount of money. 
this one right here, I didn't share a lot of my end scale uh, train sales just because I had a lot of them. They were all the same, but I did want to share, uh, you know, one today. And this one was the Atlas N scale SD 60 M C S X. And it has like the numbers there, what it was on there. And it's the locomotive and went for $78 plus shipping. These end scale trains, the locomotives were between 50 to $150 like per locomotive and then the little cars were about you know 10 to 40 dollars so definitely i learned a really good lesson on these trains so be on the lookout for these things comp them out correctly but they do sell usually uh, they sold very quickly and they all sold for like a good bit amount of money this one right here everybody usually knows about the canon like a1 and and other cameras like this i didn't know about this camera this is a pentex k1000 35 millimeter camera it came with three lenses there i usually if i buy these it's always a, kind of like in bulk at a uh, garage sale or yard sale it usually has different lenses so i always put those with that when i sell it and this one went for 56 dollars plus shipping and it had, i put up on auction actually and i think the auction i started at 45 bucks went up to 56 plus shipping so pretty good camera there and i usually try to pick those up for pretty cheap at yard sales like 10 bucks you know that's where i was on that one because you never know when you get it home, you start cleaning it. If something's wrong with the lenses, so I always try to pick those up super cheap. This one right here is going to be a Garmin E-Trex 10 2.2 inch handheld GPS receiver. Anything Garmin that looks fairly new, I always comp out. This one had uh, in the box, it had the cord, it had the manual there. It still had the plastic thing on the front. So I'm thinking this is brand new, but this is definitely an older model. I got it for, I think like five bucks at a yard sale. So very, very quick on eBay. And so for $65 plus shipping, I'm always comping out Garmin's. That is a really good brand to look out for. I've sold Garmin GPS units for like handhelds and cars. I've also sold, I'm pretty sure a fish finder that's Garmin also that had a GPS in it. So definitely a good brand to take a look for. This Orvis uh, corduroy collar barn field jacket, it was a large quilted green coat. They go for $55 plus shipping. I really don't look at Orvis anymore unless it is like a jacket or something special. But this one right here I wanted to share because the brand still brings some money. So it's again, bro, 55 bucks. That's like four bucks at the uh, Goodwill. Turn it into 55 plus shipping. But it did take a long time to sell, probably about six months. This one right here I want to share just because recently I've been lotting up a lot of stuff that isn't worth like a whole bunch individually and I do fairly large lots on eBay and then I just do an auction for 10 days and I post the uh, you know the listing the auction price the starting price for what I'm willing to take minimally so this one right here I think I started at like 30 bucks and I think it went to 50 with two bids plus shipping on that one right there. And uh, so that's like been my strategy. I also did it with a couple like golf items that actually worked out really well, made more than I actually thought because there was nothing, there was no, you know, things like this on eBay, large lots of unbranded router bits. So definitely the lots have been working out for me. I'll continue to do that. And I always put them on auction. I never do a buy now when it's a whole bunch of stuff like lots. Pen, I always talk about pen reels. Just know pen also makes different things. This one right here is a Fathom Master 600 series downrigger and it went for $150 plus shipping. Shipping on these things are massive because they're gigantic and they're very hard to ship, but they're really like indestructible kind. It's very hard to break these things. They're just really hard to ship. So uh, I picked this up at a yard sale for very cheap. Just know that pen makes other items. So when you see that name where it says pen reels on it, and it's something that looks a little weird, you might want to comp it out because it might be worth some money. This one right here is going to be little dandy power measure rotors, a lot of seven different sizes, parts, lots. So I lotted some stuff up here and it went for uh, $79 plus shipping. I wanted to add this one in just because this came out of a big tool lot. Right, so when you're going through these toolboxes that you might, you know, pick up for 20 bucks at a yard sale or something, a lot of people throw this type of stuff in toolboxes. Just make sure you comp out everything in the toolbox, even if it doesn't look like it's worth anything. I didn't know what these things were, but when you took them out of the little box, they would look like a, like a little cylinder, just a little metal cylinder. And I comped it out. I was like, wow, I cannot believe these things are worth this much money. They sold very quickly uh, on eBay, so definitely a good sale there. And here's a putter. I want to add this one because it was a Titleist Scotty Cameron. If you do not know that name, know that name when it comes to golfing. This guy, I mean, I, we, me and Kayla were just looking at the uh, golf bags, the most expensive golf bags that were sold 
on eBay, a lot of them are Scotty Cameron golf bags. You're talking thousands of dollars for golf bags. So anything with his name on it, they do make fake stuff. Uh, but just make sure that it is legit and this stuff sells like crazy his putters This is a lower end putter because it's like older, but his newer putter is easy two three four five hundred dollars So know that name Scotty Cameron. This one was just a Titleist bullseye uh, 35 inch had a really nice Titleist grip on it went for 80 bucks plus shipping and took less less than a week to sell this one here is another putter and one of my favorite brands to find this one's going to be a ping zing but it's a ping g2 zing red dot right-handed putter it had a really nice uh, grip on it. This thing was almost in like immaculate condition and this did not last very long on eBay. I think it was less than a week. I think I had it though for like $80 and somebody offered me 69 plus shipping and I took it just because I only had $3 in the club and that's a pretty good flip. So right there, that's 15, which sold for me over $50 on eBay. I do these videos so you can go out there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself and make some money. I do appreciate everybody that watches. Always remember, if you're not subscribed, Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.